Warren Gatland tells his Wales players to use legalized violence against Argentina. Warren Gatland has given Wales a license to use legalized violence as they plot a series whitewash against Argentina. The Kiwi has told his youngsters to increase their physicality in defense, making five changes to the experimental side that embarrassed the Pumas in San Juan. As a reward for their man of the match displays in the opening victories, Ellis Jenkins and James Davis will lead the charge with a duo penside combination in Santa Fe. Wales have not won a series in Argentina since 1999 and Gatland wants his rookie team to lay down another marker as they continue to build depth ahead of next year's World Cup. If you were in that group of Argentina players, you'd be reasonably embarrassed because they were expected to win comfortably last week, said Gatland. They were beaten by a group of young men and boys who embarrassed them, so our guys need to be aware of the physical challenge that's coming their way. I think it's going to be absolutely brutal and they're going to be desperate. We know that's coming so it's about how you face up to that challenge. How do you get excited by that challenge? When you're playing in big matches and the adrenaline is pumping, you can get a real buzz out of defending. Just coming off your line and being legal to be violent. You're trying to smash someone and you're trying to hurt them. That's what the guys do. You've got to be in the right mental state to go out there and do that, to deliver. The biggest challenge for Wales is adapting to the loss of linchpin centre Hadley Parks, who suffered a compound fracture of his finger. The midfielder broke the bone four minutes into last week's victory, but played through the pain and will now see a specialist before his wedding in New Zealand next week. His absence gives Owen Watkin a final chance to impress after his stuttering performance against South Africa before Gatland's high-profile Lions return for the autumn series. Wales 15 to face Argentina, Amos, Adams, S. Williams, Watkin, North, Patchell, A. Davis, R. Evans, Elias, Francis, Beard, Hill, Captain, Jenkins, Moriarty, J. Davis. Subs, D. Smith, Lewis, B. Davis, Turnbull, T. Williams, Anscombe. Brighty in the absence of Dan Bigger, who remains the chief incumbent at No. 10, Reese Patchell will again start ahead of Gareth Thanscombe, with Locke Corey Hill continuing as captain instead of Jenkins. Corey gives us a bit of continuity at captain because Ellis will have enough on his plate playing at blindside, said Gatland. It was pretty hard to leave either Ellis or James out but to be able to play two sevens, you've got to have your tight five performing well. In the front row. Exeter prop Thomas Francis is given his first start of the tour ahead of impressive rookie Dylan Lewis. The pack otherwise remains unchanged, with Rob Evans, Ryan Elias, Adam Beard and Ross Moriarty rewarded with starts after nullifying the Pumas' power last week. The nice thing about the next 12 months or so will be the real balance we have in the squad, said Gatland. There's some experienced guys, who know it'll be their last World Cup and some younger players who have come through in the last 18 months and bring some real drive. I think we're on track to achieve what we set out to do in the last couple of years in terms of the planning, preparation and campaigns to build the depth in the run-up to 2019. Elliot D. was speaking to Aaron Wainwright and Aaron was saying about having no respect for his own body and just throwing himself into everything in the last 20 minutes last week. That's the kind of attitude you're looking for from everyone. In the back line, Aled Davis will partner Patchell for his first start of the tour at scrum half. The back three of Hallam Amos, George North and Josh Adams remains unchanged, while Scott Williams continues in the second center berth. 